Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today, after two years, I have another get ready with me video and today I just want to casually do my makeup and also kind of give you guys a little bit of an explanation to what is going on in my life, what's gonna go on in my life, can I say that? Is that English? What is gonna happen in my life in the next coming like two to three months, what my plans are, plus how I'm all gonna combine that with YouTube because I... I am really loving how everything is going with my YouTube channel ever since May. I really try to upload a bit more consistently. Sometimes it's still not working out, but I'm definitely doing my best. But uni is going to start again in three weeks. I'm going to go on vacation on Wednesday, the 21st of August. I'm coming back from Greece for my vacation on the 1st of September. And on the 2nd, uni is starting again. Sometimes in the intro of my videos throughout this whole year, I've been giving you guys a little bit of an explanation why I was wasn't very how do you say that like that I wasn't really like on the YouTube and that is because I had a lot of stress with university last year I didn't really enjoy my second year I had so much stress that I went to a counselor she said that if I was going on the same speed as I was going back then that in a couple of months I would probably have a burnout is that how you say that I don't know if I'm saying that correctly but that was kind of like the point where I was like okay I need to take things a bit more slowly I'm attending Utrecht University University, which is like a really big city right in the middle of the Netherlands and um, I study biomedical sciences there. I'm going to my third year. This would normally be my last year of my bachelor's degree but because I decided to follow one course less than you're supposed to in my last semester I already have to study longer than three years for my bachelor's degree so the plan for right now is that I'm gonna do my bachelor's degree in three and a half years instead of three at Utrecht we have four semesters and each semester takes about 10 weeks and you follow two courses each semester so in like a normal year you would follow eight different courses the first year I did eight and the second year I did seven I did one course in my last semester and because of that I have a longer bachelor degree time that I have to study if I'm making any sense. Let's put on some makeup shall we because I'm talking without doing any of my makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna use my NYX my NYX Honey Do Me Up primer because it makes my makeup last a little bit longer. Look at how weird and sticky this is. It just looks a little strange on the face. <laughs> Last year I followed seven courses instead of eight so I had so much spare time from April until June basically. I had two or three days that I sometimes had to go to university and I didn't even attend university. I didn't go to any of the lectures or the work groups. I was like doing so many other things besides uni. I did um, succeed in that one course that I had to follow, but I did lots of other things besides studying. My third year, how it's gonna go, is I'm gonna follow two courses in my first semester, one course in my second, two in my third, and one in my fourth. If I keep up with that, I can probably like finish my bachelor's degree in February of 2021, I believe. Yes. At first I was planning on doing my bachelor in four years, but I think, I hope that this is gonna be a steady solution. I'm gonna put on my Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation. This one is a little darker than what I'm used to, and I did go on vacation, so I do have the tiniest bit of a tan. My mirror is down here by the way so that's why I'm looking like that and my hair is doing things. I just don't know what I want to do with my bachelor and I don't think I'm going to follow a master program in biomedical sciences which you are kind of supposed to do when you want to get a job in biomedical sciences but the thing is that I am not sure if this study, if this bachelor is something that I really want to do something with in my career life I'd say. University is like not to be how do you say that like bragging about what I'm doing but university is the hardest level of education after high school here in the Netherlands and I think that if I did biomedical sciences at like a different level because you do have like equivalents of biomedical sciences at a different difficulty that that would be more my Thing. I'm noticing that university is just super theoretical and I really miss doing practical things but I'm finishing my bachelor degree so that if I want to I can always do like a step down probably like a step down it's not that I look at it like that like it's a step 
below my ability but it's just more practical and I want to be more in like the lab. I don't even know if this will be what I'm gonna do in my future. That's what I find really uh, scary because I don't know if I made the right decision for following such a beta kind of study. That is why I chose to follow like very last moment I decided that I wanted to follow a minor program. Is that how you say it? You basically have to follow uh, four courses at like a different study program. So I'm gonna do youth studies, which is something completely different. Um, it is more of like psychology stuff. So it's gonna be like all about uh, growing up into adolescence. It's gonna be about risk uh, behavior and addiction, about youth and sexuality, about the youth and in media cultures. I'm very curious to see what I will think of that because it's so completely different from what I'm doing with biomedical sciences. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I will be able to do it. I have absolutely no clue. I don't know like if it's it's too difficult for me because I have no background in like psychology or whatever but we shall find out if I can make it plus I'm also following uh, I believe a quite difficult course which is like biomedical sciences related that is gonna be molecular mechanisms of cancers not a lot of people are allowed to follow that course I believe like about 20 so yeah from September until the middle of November I will be following molecular mechanisms of cancer plus risk behavior and addiction and I don't know how it's gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be really difficult or if it's gonna be okay and then I also have to do YouTube or at least I don't have to do it but I want to do it I do want to find some kind of consistency in YouTube so I will be trying to be uploading one video a week that would be amazing if I could do that but if I can't I need to accept it because school is gonna come first right now. I'm not excited about school. I'm just very curious about school. Like I don't know how I will feel about my new courses and I I just, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, yesterday I dropped my Fenty Beauty highlighter. I tried to repair it and now it's looking like this. Oh, this is my favorite highlighter, you guys. And I don't know if I fixed it or not. I want to do all the things that I'm doing right now with YouTube and meeting friends and seeing my boyfriend and going to the gym a little bit. I don't know. It's just difficult to find consistency in all of these different factors that you have to take into account. So I hope that you guys will understand that if I'm having it like really busy with finals or with a project or with a presentation or with whatever that I won't be on YouTube as much as I have been in the past couple of months. I'm really gonna do my best. I'm really loving everything right now and I'm really trying to develop a bit more as like a YouTuber. I'm trying to learn how to edit more using Premiere Pro, trying to do all these different effects. Plus, what I've also been doing is I've been trying to create some art. When I follow one course in November, I have so much time that I don't have to go to university so I can like follow my own schedule uh, studying wise plus I really want to get a job on the side because I'm not making any money. I haven't been making any money for the past two years almost and it feels really bad it doesn't feel nice at all and now that I'm young I just need to have some working experience because that will look good on my resume for when I'm older so yeah trying to navigate my life a little bit again <gasps> I think I'm gonna do some fake freckles because those look really cute first do my eyebrows but yeah I've been trying to create some art because I eventually want to sell art when I have more time in November again I want to like make some bookmarks make some prints so yes I'm really excited to do that I also yesterday Today just started an art journal. I am not an artist at all, but um, I bought this art journal for lots of money, like too much money, and I already have so many notebooks. Yes, I started this one, and I really also want to kind of like keep up with this when I'm in uni because I think it's good if I make some like art. My friend Leora put this in my journal. Like she is a true journalist, a true artist, and I'm not. To have this in my journal makes me feel inspired but also intimidated. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try and do that a little bit because I feel like that will be a really good anti-stress relief moment kind of thing. Okay, eyebrows looking good. Eyebrows on fleek honey. I'm gonna put some fake freckles on my 
area right here I always do that with the same brush that I use for my eyebrows because I use the same powder for that so why not look at this like this is ugly uh, but I'm gonna go over it with just some face powder and then it will look more like natural and I mean Look at this. This looks so much more like natural and cutesy. Right now, I only have to do my ooh, do my mascara and then I'm done with my face and my little update video. <laughs> I put my mascara on and yes, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the past couple of months for like the support on my videos and people noticing that I'm really trying to do more of like my best while I'm editing. Just know that once university starts again in September, I'm gonna do my best to keep consistent with YouTube, but it won't always happen. I know that for sure. I will have to focus on my mental health but also on my school and just lots of other things as well but do know that YouTube is always my kind of my outlet and I want to share everything with you guys yes I have some fun ideas to film as well so I have to work out a couple of things and I think that once November gets around the corner I will have so much more time again for YouTube and for creativeness and stuff like that thank you guys so much for listening to this rambling video I don't know how many of you guys will watch this but that's completely fine. I love you guys. Thank you so much for just being here on my channel. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my social media pages because then you can stay up to date with what I'm doing with my life. Because I'm a booktuber, of course, I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!